My name is John Deblon, president of Yale Mechanical. Yale's a mechanical contractor, heating and air conditioning and millwright, with a service operation that's largest in the Twin Cities area. Yale was founded in 1939. Uh, we'll be celebrating our 75th anniversary next year. When I first started with Yale, we didn't have as many divisions. We've created two new divisions in the last number of years, and they're very different from what our core businesses were. So it, we have really needed to be able to like I said, create different ways to track jobs, to create work orders, because everything's just a lot different and we can't stay in the same way that we've been doing things. Um, Spectrum has allowed us to really be able to offer our project managers who came from different places the information in a way that they were either used to seeing or in a new way that allowed them to be able to help run their certain divisions. Each of our service tasks are um, coded with a specific type of work that we're doing for that client. So uh, we track our maintenance growth, our maintenance base, which is very important because that's a renewable resource for us. Also, one of the repairs that different clients bring in, um, if they have automation needs, we're able to uh, implement a code within Spectrum and then pull that out quarterly, you know, uh, annually, what have you, in order to see where our growth actually is and where our best opportunities are for the future. The reports that I use are basically like tracking the man hours on the projects that we have, along with, you know, we have a new report that I'm using right now for tracking the equipment that's on projects and the rentals, how long they're on there for, so we can monitor that. We had a rental welder from, you know, from a company, outside company, and I think the rentals, you know, a couple hundred dollars a week, it sat out there for several weeks and we actually only needed it for a day out there. It just never got called off and I didn't know it was out there. So that's kind of where we, this report will help us track that. It'll, that will never happen again with this report. One of the best ways that it works for us is that we get weekly reports. So I, I review the reports of all the projects that the project managers have going on at that time. And because I can review the reports and see where they are financially, see where they are as far as the hours used versus the hours estimated, materials used versus materials estimated. It does allow us to keep a better control over the project managers and what their projects are. And then we can also go back and look and see what types of projects they were and say, okay, this type, whether it's industrial, educational, retail, we can look and sort them that away and see which project manager may have done better in those types of projects. On Spectrum, our operations and our management people are able to access Spectrum and get the information they need right away. They don't have to wait for somebody in accounting to take the time to write up or type up a report or a spreadsheet to provide that for them. They can get it immediately. We probably have approximately 65 custom reports that we've built um, using Infolink or Crystal Reports because it is easy to do that with Spectrum. The database is ODBC compliant. We can access it and we can put it in different formats. With Spectrum, we can get a lot more work done. Our managers can manage more people, more jobs, more processes with Spectrum than they ever could before. That has allowed us to bring on more sales and field personnel without having to train and look for more talent at the management level. The more thoroughly we use Spectrum, the better the results.